In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. O Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. <coughs> um, welcome back, everybody, to the Coptic Rites class. Um, I hope you had a great week. Excuse me, my voice is breaking a little bit today. Um, <coughs> um, we will start with our Coptic lesson. Um, so today we will learn lesson five. So we'll review the first four lessons that we already learned. Um, so in the first lesson, we learned alpha, which looks like an A, pronounced like an A, like A, like art. Vita, pronounced like a V or a B. E, pronounced like an E. Zeta, pronounced like a Z. Yota, I. Kappa, K, May, M, Nay, N, O is O, Sima is S, Tav is T, U is O A sound, Eta, which looks like an H, this is like a long E, like double E, Rho, which looks like a P, this is the R sound. And key, which looks like an X. This is the K sound. And in Greek words, it could be sha or cha. Sha or cha. So today we will learn three new letters. Uh, these letters, um, they, they don't have an equivalent in English. They don't look like English letters. Uh, but they look like Greek letters because most of the Coptic alphabet came from the Greek alphabet. So the first one is gamma, gamma. It, it kind of looks like an S with like a bar on top of it, right? Gamma. And gamma, there's three ways we can pronounce gamma. We can pronounce it like a ra, like the GH sound. Like, for example, that, that sound is in Arabic. Like we say, ugneya, ugneya, which means song, right? So gamma can, can be pronounced like ra, like this word here, we have gamma, alpha, vita, rho, yota, eta, lola, right? So this is rab, rav, okay? Riyil, rav riyil, rav riyil, which is Gabriel, like Archangel Gabriel, rav riyil, okay? Gamma could also be pronounced as a G, like this word here, agios. Agios, okay, alpha, gamma, I-O-S, agios, which means holy, like we say, agios, otheos. And then gamma could also be pronounced like an N-G if there are two gammas together. So then the first one is pronounced an N, and the second one is a G. Like this word here, we have alpha, two gammas, so this is N-G, and then E-L, this is the lulla. I will learn this today, actually. O, C, so this is angelos, angelos. So what are the rules for the gamma? So normally, it's pronounced like a GH. That's the, the usual pronunciation of gamma is GH, like we said, like every year. If it's followed by any of the vowels, like E, Yota, Eta, or Epsilon, then, it, then it's a G like agios, okay? And then, like I said, if there are two gammas together, or actually if it's followed by any of these letters, so another gamma or kappa or exi or ki, but the most common one is you see two gammas together. Then the first one is an N, and the second one is a G, like we have angelus, okay? So this is the rule of the gamma. The second letter that we will learn is delta. Delta. This looks like a triangle with like a hat on top of it. Okay, this is the delta. So this is pronounced like a soft the, like like a th, like if we say the, like then. Okay, that's the usual pronunciation. 
like here we have delta u r o n rho o a so this will be zoran 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 which means gift gamma could be pronounced like a d um, if it's like in a person's name and a and a proper name like here we have delta alpha nay so this is dan dan okay so this is delta the usual pronunciation is like a th th and it could also be a d and then the last letter is called lola it looks like the delta except it doesn't have the bottom um the the bottom line here right so this is lola it's pronounced like an l so like this example, we have alpha, lulla, lulla, alpha. So this is Allah, Allah. Allah, this is not like the Arabic Allah, which means God. Allah in Coptic means like but or however. So we, we actually see this word um, uh, repeated in many of the, uh, like the, the Coptic texts. Like Allah na min evul but forgive us our trespasses. Okay, so let's read some uh, easy words using these letters. So I'll just go down the line here. So Andrew, can you say the first word, please? Adam. Very good. Adam. Easy one. Adam. Alpha, Delta, Alpha, May, Adam, which is Adam. Thank you. Dina, can you do the next one, please? You're very close, yes. So this is the, the key, which uh, you, you said key because most of the time it is a K. In this case, it's a sh. So sh, I, R. Yes, good. Yeah, yeah, like yes in Arabic. Mashir, yes. Mashir? Mashir. Mashir, yeah, it's close to it, right. Mashir, actually, this is the Coptic month. You know, the Coptic calendar has a uh, month, just like the Julian calendar has month. So we have Tud Baba Hatur, Mashir, that's the fourth month. In, in Arabic, it's pronounced Amshir, Amshir, but the, the correct Coptic pronunciation is Mashir. Thank you. Um, Ahab, can you do the next one, please? Cholera. Yes. Cholera. Good. Cholera. Cholera. We have the key. O. Lola, which we learned. That's the L. And then the double E. R A. Cholera, which is cholera in, in English. Okay, thank you. Jamie, can you please do the next one? Uh, uh, C O uh, J -a -nan? So this is the row, which is an R. R or or -shan -na? I don't know. Uh, jing, the jing or the gamma. I'm sorry. Gamma. Yeah. Yeah. It so the ga -ga -kan -nan. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 Good. Or ga -nan. Or ga -nan. Ga -nan. Yes. Organon. Organon, which is organ. It's the same oh. word. No, it's, it's a Coptic um, root for the word organon, which is organ. Thank you. Uh, next, we have uh, Madame Nadia. Oh, that's an easy one. Adios. That's an easy one, yes. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll give you a hard one later. <laughs> Agios, which is holy. Very good. Yes. Uh, Madame Sue, the next one. Lotus. Yes, very good. Lotus. Lotus, which is the lotus flower. Okay. Next, we have Mary. Do the next one, please. Uh, aga, aga, me. This is the, the P. Oh. We didn't take this letter aga yet. P. Yeah. Aga P. Yeah, agapi, agapi or agapi, agapi, which is love in Coptic. Agap, agapi is in Greek, same word. Thank you. 
Okay, next, Patrick, can you do the next one? Barbara. Yes, very good, easy word, Barbara, which is Barbara, Saint Barbara. Okay, uh, Philo, the next one. Philo? Yes, very good. Ramses, Ramses, like the 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 Pharaoh Ramses. Um, Mises, by the way, or Misi, uh, means to be born. So Ramses is the one born of Ra. You know, in in ancient Egyptian uh, theology, Ra was one of the gods. He was one of the uh, like supreme gods. So Ramses means he who is born of Ra. Okay, so let's continue. We have some more words. Rafi, can you do the, the next one? Yes. Kobab. Kovab, Kovab, yes, which is the kebab, right? That's just kebab, Kovab, good. Thank you. Not sure okay. when to. Uh, Sorry, spell. I'm not sure when to spell it as a V or a B. Yeah, so we um, <clears throat> we said that if it's followed by a vowel, it's um, it's a V. Uh, mm. Otherwise, it's a B. So most of the time, it will be followed by a vowel. That's why we say it's most of the time it's a V. So here we have a good example of of both of them because this one would be a V and this one would be a B, so Kovab. But uh, like a lot of these words, when they, uh, when they were um, absorbed into the Arabic language, so uh, the pronunciation changed a little bit. So instead of saying Kovab, it became Kebab. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, thank you. Dina, next one. Dina? Um, Samit? Yes, good. Samit. Samit. Samit, which means pretzel. Again, this is an Arabic Samit, right? Samit or Samit, which is pretzel. It's a Coptic word. Karas, can you do the next one? Yes. Sakat. Sakar. This is an R. Sakar. Sakar, which is sugar, which is sukkar in Arabic, right? Same word. Again, this is a Coptic word. Good. Okay, next we have um, Su. Next one. Sim Simsim? Yes, yeah, Simsim, Simsim, which is the sesame, Simsim, right? Good. Um, Andrew, next one. Amoy. Amoy, Amoy, yes, Amoy, which means I wish, Amoy, good. Um, Ihab. Kaki. Kaki, yes, kaki, yeah. which is darkness. Yeah, it's a funny word, right? Kaki. Okay. Uh, Jamie, the next one. Uh, let's see. Uh, Osana. Yeah, very good. Osana. Osana, which means Hosanna, like Hosanna Sunday. Osana oh, okay. Sunday. Yeah. Osanna or Hosanna means save us. save us. It's a Hebrew word that means save yeah. us. So when they were saying Osanna, son of David, that means save us, O son of David. Okay. Um, Madam Nadia, the next one. Is it Vasili? Yes, Vasili. Vas See, I told you I'll give you a more difficult one. <laughs> Vasili, which means king. 
So we actually say, Osanna Vasilito Israel, Osanna, the king of Israel. Right. Vasili, like we also call people Vasili, right? Or Basil is the same yeah. word, which means king. And then the last word, um, Patrick. Sidra. Very good, Sidrak. You know, the, the, the three youth and the fire, Sidrak, Misak, and Abdenago, Sidrak. Excellent. Good job, everybody. So just a review. Ramma, which looks like, like we said, it looks like an S with like a bar on top of it. Um, most of the time, it's a GH. This is, uh, the GH should be on top. So most of the time, it's a GH. Um, it's a G if it's followed by a vowel, by an E vowel, like agios, and then it's NG if there are two of them. So one is N, one is G. Delta, which looks like a triangle with like a hat on top of it. This is like the, the soft, uh, like TH, the, the, like Zorum, or it could be a D, like Dan. And then Lulla, sometimes also they call it Lavla, same word, same letter, but different name. This looks like the delta, but without the bar underneath. So this is the L sound, the L sound like Allah. Okay. Um, then the Coptic word that we can learn for this week. So we learned actually how to say thank you. Does anybody remember how to say thank you? It was uh, two weeks ago when we learned it. So um, ship. Shibihmut. Yes, very good. Shibihmut. Yeah, shukran in Arabic, but we're talking about uh, Coptic. So, Shibihmut is thank you. So, now we're going to learn how to say you're welcome. So, here we have the May. This is the capital M with the Jinkim in front of it. The Jinkim is like an accent mark. So, it gives it like a small E sound in front. And then we have another M O N. So, this is Emmon. Emmon. This letter we didn't take yet. This is the hori, which is the H sound and also has a jinkim on it. So this is E. And then this is the letter we learned today, the lulla, which is an L and yota. So this is ehli. So emmon ehli, emmon ehli. Literally, it means it is nothing. Emmon ehli means it is nothing. So, uh, so somebody says, thank you. You're basically saying, don't worry about it. It's nothing, which means you are welcome. Um, any any questions about the Coptic? <laughs>